Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. This is an update about the war is happening in the north of Syria and in the south of Turkey. Uh, you know, it's, it is literally a defeat of the Turkish army. You know, we are talking about a country, the population of this country, about 100 million citizens and have one of the largest army in the area. And you know they are using 90% uh, of their weapon is american weapon airplanes f16 tanks etc and they are fighting a bunch of farmers and half of them are girls and yet they could not enter not even 1% of the territory of afrin i cannot say afrin is not the you see this is a city of afrin here in the middle where i'm click clicking and if you look at the blue area, this is where the Turkish are. So until now, they could not really get anything. You see, they are still really far from anything. They accomplished nothing, you know. So if it, you know, Erdogan, he told the, the Turkish in his speech, uh, it's almost over. You know, over what? And not only that, whatever they win at daytime, they lose at nighttime. You know, and Erdogan, he is asking and bringing more terrorists from Idlib, the city of Idlib, which is a Syrian city, uh, full of Al-Qaeda. So he, uh, he, uh, he asked for help from those terrorist groups to join them. So he have, the Turkish already announced that they have 25,000 from the Islamist uh, uh, militants uh, from Syria. And they ask two uh, huge uh, brigade from uh, Al-Qaeda to join them because Al-Qaeda, they have borders with, with Afrin. And all of them, they are attacking Afrin from every direction. Still, they could not accomplish anything can be even considered as something done. It is a total defeat. It is a big problem for Erdogan, the one who made thousands of speeches. This guy is like a dog. You know, he parked he park too much, but at the end, he don't even bite. Uh, he spoke too much about victory and etc. And you know, like the funny, the Turkish, they are saying they lost 23 uh, soldiers. What a 23, you idiot. Uh, I wish I can show you the numbers of the tanks was burned by the, 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 the female fighters from the Kurdish, not the male, the female. I saw many videos. The one is hunting the, the uh, Turkish uh, tr uh, trucks and uh, tanks are females. And actually, I saw one of them. It was amazing. It looked like this uh, truck was full of uh, animation or, and bombs. So the explosion was extremely powerful. So you can imagine how many people die there. But yet the Turkish, they are trying, oh, no, we are just, just lost 21, 23. What a 20. You know, I, I, there is at least, I saw at least from the videos, at least 40 between trucks and tanks were, was burned. So if every truck and... and, and uh, 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 tank have one person and this is impossible I never saw uh, uh, you know like uh, a tank running run by one person this is impossible it doesn't matter how, how high tech it is and the the, the Turkish uh, army uh, you know tanks is is uh, is rubbish so they need at least three people or four and at least three but I think there is uh, about five inside uh, <clears throat> because I think they are like you know some of them they are like a Turkish style is is like it's made in Turkey which is a break very easy and they are not capable really of going in a good speed or doing the, doing the job so the the Kurdish they are advancing very well and we saw the video uh, how the filthy terrorist when they killed a female fighter from the Kurdish they cut her breast in, in camera recording her they took off her clothes and they inserted a knife inside her private part as some they said so it is disgusting, filthy uh, forces Erdogan he have with him, a bunch of terrorists. They are saying takbir, in the same time they are cutting the breast of a female. I mean, how disgusting those people are, but why you are surprised? This is exactly what Muhammad used to do. Muhammad even, he did a lot more ugly than those terrorists they did. Muhammad, he cut a woman two pieces when she was alive. At least, at least this woman, she is dead. Those people don't respect themselves. You see, forget about respecting the enemy. This behavior is telling us you don't even respect yourself. You are, you know, you are a false person. 
you praise a God who make you do such a thing. For he is a filthy God. Even Satan, he have better honor than those who worship Allah and they do such an act. Satan, he have a lot better honor. I don't think even Satan, he would do what they did. And you know, we keep talking about Satan, right? I think Satan is more honorable than those who follow Allah and they do those uh, kind of action. So I'm so happy for the, the Kurdish in Afrin. And not only that, I heard the news. I saw actually the videos. I don't believe just in the news. I saw videos. Tens of thousands uh, of supporters, they are, they are marching through this area, the yellow area here. This is, this is Kurdish area, the yellow on the other side. You see the problem, Afrin is surrounded by enemies. However, here, this is the Syrian uh, government army. So what I heard that the Syrian army allowed the, the Kurdish to send their troops through this area and they are in their way. Uh, and if this is true, you know, uh, that's mean Erdogan is going to have a hell of a fight. Because now the door of all those Kurdish here, and this is here a big, huge number of Kurdish, and they are very well armed. You see, all this territory, it's almost half of Syria actually, controlled by the Kurdish. The red area is controlled by the Syrian government. The yellow area controlled by Kur Kurdish and Assyrian Christian fighters and etc. So, and even I saw a brigade from the Christian Assyrian sent to sponsor the fighters in Afrin. This Afrin, you know, the, 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 the war in Afrin became a challenge for Erdogan. This is why I believe he was, he was going to go more aggressive in the coming uh, two weeks. Because if he did not finish what he promised to finish in two weeks, that will be a big problem. It's going to be a historical defeat to Turkey and to the false leader Erdogan. And I believe he is defeated already. And let us see if what I am expecting to happen, the defeat of Turkey, is happening or not, and time will tell. Thank you very much, and feel, feel free to leave your comment. God bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And the Turkish look like they are defeated by a bunch of farmers and little female girls. Thank you.